Hey, what's up everybody? It's Guy and I wanted to show you guys a feature in the new Google Calendar app which is now material designed. And here is a widget on my home screen which shows the agenda view. I don't have, I've hidden a lot of my calendars, I don't have many events showing because I want to show off in particular this reminders feature. So now I'm in the home screen of my Google Calendar and you can see reminders that I've set either from Google Now on my watch or from the Inbox app. I can click in on a reminder and I can even mark the reminder as done, which I think is handy because I use my Google Calendar a lot to manage my time and events. So you can manage all of these reminders in an inbox app if you have one. And if you don't have an inbox uh, invite yet, you can go to my video and you can comment on the video and I'll give out invitations in order of the subscription or you can email Google and hopefully they'll get back to you. But here I am in my inbox app and I can actually manage all my reminders here. I can click on one and I can even delete one. The integration is not perfect, so if you try to, de try to delete a reminder from your calendar app, you can't. You need the inbox app to do that. Another reason the integration is not perfect is that if you go into Google Keep, you can set reminders on notes, but for some reason those reminders don't show up in the calendar. I don't know if this is because Google is uh, trying to keep them separate, it'll eventually come, or they're even trying to phase out keep in, in favor of inbox being the main area where you take notes. Uh, so this is just one feature. I think it's a pretty neat feature. I'm glad Google is trying to integrate reminders into multiple apps, especially calendar and email. Uh, if you want to see a, uh, more features, uh, go ahead and go on to QB King 77's video. I'll link to that below, and he'll have a bunch of other features that might be handy for you. And I'll also leave a link to the APK so you can download this app. Uh, it's not necessarily available in the Play Store to everybody yet, so uh, you can download it and install it on your phone if you can't see it in the Play Store. All right, just a quick video. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.